Recently, I went on a spontaneous road trip to Sochi with my friends during a short Russian holiday, Unity Day. We rented a car for this purpose, drove 3,600 kilometers in six days, and visited seven different cities, including one of my favorite places on Earth. We left Moscow at 7 p.m., had a sleepover in Voronezh, and 33 hours after the start of the trip, we finally reached Sochi. Our car got occupied by a cat. Hey! Just in this video right here, I mentioned that I wouldn't be able to visit Sochi again for a very long time. But life often gives us little surprises, and exactly one month after I left, I came back here again. So at first we decided to visit beautiful Saloh Aul Park, a place where I've been in 2021 before. A good thing that it's near my house, so we didn't have to drive that far, but before going there I checked if it's working and it said that it's open until 8 p.m. today. And we just arrived here, wanted to go inside and turns out it's closed. But of course in Russia you can do things around it and we asked a guy, the security guy at the entrance to let us in to quickly take a look at it because we already drove here he said he cannot do that there's cameras but if we pay him a little money the cameras will not work so we did that we took a picture we looked at this place it's quite beautiful of course the tea plantation is not in season right now and i was surprised to see the tea blooming but basically we completed the mission of seeing the salohal park and right now we're at the top of the mountain and now we're gonna go down to quickly take a look at the river and after that we're gonna stop at a few other locations on our way after which we're gonna go to the beach And now, guys, right from the top of the mountain where we were, we went down to the Shahe River. And if you recognize this place, this is the place where we have our picnics. This is your favorite video from our family picnics. And we were exactly here, like maybe a little bit further down way. So you always ask me what this place is. It's at Saloh Aul downstairs <laughs> i hope it makes sense and from what i can say right now the place looks a little bit different from when we were here two years ago right now the river is here before it was down there but it's normal the river flow always changes and of course the river is a lot less full because it's already fall time and it's more full during summertime and also it's more brown now than in summer as well Unfortunately, this year we didn't get a chance to swim this river, but out of all the rivers that I've been to in Sochi area, this one was my very favorite to swim in. My cousin loves sunbathing way too much. We keep stopping on our way on some picturesque places. I love having car around. It makes your life so much easier. Finally, we came to the beach. Unfortunately, it's cloudy at the moment and it's about the golden hour right now, but we will not be able to see the sunset. But still, it's really nice to sit here at the beach. And we also ordered salads from this restaurant and enjoying the salads with the view. And uh, after chilling here for some time, we are gonna go to our relatives and uh, they are preparing a dinner for us at the moment. Uh, my family is also Angelica's family, my cousin, and she doesn't see her family that often. So it's gonna be a very heartwarming dinner. Wondering where this goes. Do you see me? 
the atmosphere on the beach at this time of the year is so different than from the normal touristy season. It's my first time being in Sochi in November ever and I honestly cannot even recognize the place. Being in Sochi during the off season is a special type of pleasure. So different from the time when it's full of tourists. I prefer it both ways, but it's very different from one another. Jelika decided to do some shooting. Angelica, show me your price. Yay! <laughs> The days are very short right now, it's only 5 p.m. and it's already getting dark. So our daytime activities are very limited, so we're going for our family dinner. And after that we plan to go to Sochi and walk on a promenade there and maybe do some of these fun activities on the promenade there. So that was one of the best family dinners together because my grandma haven't seen her granddaughter Angelica in six years so it was very warm and special day. And now it's 9.30 p.m. and we just came to the Sochi city center and we are walking around it and we're about to go to the uh, Mayak beach promenade which is my favorite promenade in Sochi and it's the most crowded place. And we're hoping there will be a lot of people and there will be a lot of fun and we're about to do some fun activities there like what we just did in Dagomis recently but in Sochi in bigger amounts hopefully we'll find some more things to do there so so far it's been such an excellent first day of our trip now we are at the Sochi seaport and it looks way different from during the day and the best part no one is attacking you no one is offering you never-ending boat tours and stuff Ola is a dangerous woman. Ilya won a prize and he gave it to me because his wife doesn't want it. <laughs> and I put it on my back as a souvenir from Sochi. The next day we planned to visit Sochi Park, an amazing theme park inspired by Russian folklore and created as part of the legacy of the 2014 Winter Olympics held in Sochi. But as soon as we arrived it started raining, so we decided not to go to the park. Instead we took a stroll on the Imeritinskaya embankment, a scenic promenade along the Black Sea, also developed for the Winter Olympics, so it's nice and new and super beautiful. But it was quite windy and a bit chilly that day, so our walk wasn't as pleasant as we hoped. So windy. When I think about all of the things that you and me could be. I want to be with you both day and night To sit on the grass beneath the moonlight I know that life won't last forever But at least... Then it started raining again, so we went to one of the shopping malls to find some interactive rooms and we ended up playing games there for the rest of the day.
Today is our last day in Sochi. It's not the end of our trip yet, just the last day in Sochi. And everyone went to the beach at the moment. But I had to stay home and pack my suitcase because when I went to Thailand, I left my entire suitcase with all my clothes here and only took a carry-on with me. So now I came back and I'm gonna take it with me. And I'm actually glad that it happened because otherwise my mom would have to carry it all with her to St. Petersburg. And that would be very unpleasant and uncomfortable for her. So that's really good that destiny decided that it would be this way. But anyways, I'm glad that they're enjoying their life at the beach because I've had enough beach days this year. And after they come back from the beach, we're quickly gonna go to the market and take some food with us to continue our road trip. And after that, we're going to my family again for our last goodbye lunch. So I'll see you in a little bit. Ты такой хороший, ты такой хороший, еще один хороший. That's one interesting gas station. We just stopped at a gas station in the middle of somewhere and I got surrounded by five same looking dogs that look so cute and sweet and they're making this uh, sweet peachy puppy sound and we have no food to feed them and there is nothing we can buy at the gas station and my heart is breaking apart but I cannot do anything except getting my dose of oxytocin by observing all these dogs because they are so cute and sweet well we found some sort of appropriate food for dogs out of this selection and we split these hot dogs in parts and we are gonna try to feed them and hopefully they eat bread Видишь, какая ты смелая? О, еще один пришел. God, please tell me where to go. Guys, today I came back to one of my favorite places on earth, which is Abraudurso. And of course, I have a video about it on my channel. Please be sure to check it out. It's one of my top three favorite videos that I've ever made. And ever since I visited in August last year, I was dreaming to come back. And I particularly wanted to visit it during the fall time. Abrao Derso is located in Krasnodar Krai. And in this area, the fall is a lot milder and warmer than in the rest of Russia. So it's perfect time to visit this place and uh, i'm so happy at the moment i cannot even describe you the feelings of like when your dream comes true even though i've already been here but this place is so special that i'm just really happy at the moment last night we drove from sochi and we stopped at Novorossiysk. and uh, today Ole and i decided to visit abrao derso and my cousin angelica and her husband stayed in Novorossiysk. they have some other plans maybe they will join us a little bit later and it's still very early in the morning. There is almost no people other than us, other than us and a bunch of stray cats. And uh, when the city starts to wake up a little bit, more cafes will open and um, the streets will be more crowded. The city will look a little bit different. By the way, it's not the city, it's Silo, which is like a village type city, but it's so beautiful. I mean, you will see it in this video how gorgeous and amazing this place is this is the lake abrao and this fountain by the way is the exact copy of the fountain in geneva but just the smaller version of it Hey 
there is some progress I'm seeing guys last year this road was the only bad thing about a browder saw and I'm happy to admit that they developing and right now this road is super modern looks clean nice and just perfect for this place He sound We decided to ride some paddle boards and I don't care that I'm wearing a mini dress. We're both wearing the dresses actually. And paddle boards is one of my favorite summer activities. So how could we miss on that opportunity? Especially because we walked pretty much the entire lake and we still have some free time. We only have time here until 2 p.m. and now it's uh, 11 at the moment. So even after the paddle boards, we will still have some time. And actually my cousin and her husband are coming towards us. So we're gonna hang out here together for some time. <sighs> that was such a good decision to come back to Abrauder So during the fall time. It's amazing. It's amazing place during all the seasons, I think. I've never been here during other seasons other than summer and winter, but I assume even in winter it can be great because Krasnodar Krai in general is such an amazing region in Russia. We want to swim towards the waterfall now. We want to get closer. Found myself smiling. Oh my god, the water is really cold. Almost made it. I don't want to get too close though because I don't want to get wet. But it was a lot harder to swim here than I thought it would be because the stream is a lot stronger than me, especially today. It's taking me the opposite direction, so I'm a little sweaty and hot. But oh my god, how much do I love paddle boards? <laughs> a lot more than I should be. And I think I would be a good surfer if I surfed. Maybe I'll try surfing one day. Wow, just wow. So peaceful, so beautiful, so gorgeous. By the way, this is the only steamboat that is allowed on this lake. This lake prohibits any motorboats, only the catamarans, paddle boards, and one steamboat is allowed. And I almost reached the waterfall. That's actually the closest I want to get to it. And I think it's about time for me to go back. That's the wine factory, guys. The place where they produce all this delicious wine. And right in front of it is a fountain that looks like a champagne bottle. I don't understand how you can love me the way that I am. You give a little love to the little sun everywhere you go, everywhere you run. And you make it look easy. I don't understand how you can love me. All right, we're leaving Abrao Durso now and we're on our way to Moscow. The plan is to get there without stops. Of course, we're gonna have some gas station stops, but I mean, we plan to not have a stay at a hotel at night. If we make it, that's excellent. If we're not, we're gonna stop at Voronezh and then go to Moscow on the next day. But as for now, we have about 18 hours of driving and about 15,000 kilometers. So let's go. Of course, in the end, those 18 hours turned into 31 and we had to make a stop in Voronezh on our way to Moscow. 
We were so exhausted upon arrival that our words stumbled out, as if we were drunk. So we had a sleepover there and resumed our journey towards Moscow around noon the next day. It's interesting how as we got closer to Moscow, the weather was getting worse and worse. By the way, let me give you a glimpse of what a typical gas station looks like in Russia. It may not be as fancy as European ones, but it's pretty good. I was particularly pleased with the big selection of hot dishes, including soups. And since we didn't have time to eat at the gas stations, we ate everything on the go. And yeah, we got back to Moscow around 9 pm, returned the car to the rental company and came home being very tired, but very happy.